German Chancellor Olaf Scholz says he's open to an earlier than planned confidence vote that could trigger elections if he loses. He made the comments in his first interview since the collapse of his three-party coalition. The alliance broke up on Wednesday after Scholz fired his finance minister due to divisions over the budget. He's now running a minority government together with the Green Party and had announced plans to hold a vote of confidence in the new year. But the opposition and some within his own party have demanded a quicker timeline, pushing for the vote to happen earlier. Now, here's what Schultz had to say in that interview. I don't see a problem in having a vote of confidence before Christmas, if that is what everybody wants. I'm fine with it if that is seen as the best option, because I also want it to happen fast. I want a new mandate through a strong vote in favour of the SPD. DW's chief political editor, Michaela Kufner, is with me in the studio. Good to see you, Michaela. Um, how significant are those words, given how far we've come in the five days since this crisis erupted? They're very significant because they are, uh, send a signal that, yes, it might still be possible that there might be a major shift before January the 15th. That was the initial um, deadline by which he wanted to ask for a vote of confidence in the German parliament. But he's somewhat pass passing the buck here as well. He does protest a bit too much that it's not uh, because of any kind of conditionality that he might have demanded that a couple of um, laws should still be get through Parliament with the help of the now opposition Conservatives before he actually uh, goes for this vote of confidence. Right. Um, he now passes this on to the leader of his own party and the opposition leader, Friedrich Merz, who's his uh, contender in upcoming elections. So it would be very interesting to see um, whether these negotiations produce some kind of breakthrough that could potentially see the Chancellor ask for that vote of confidence as soon as this week. Right. Now, it is widely expected that Schultz will lose that vote of confidence in Parliament, whether in December or January, and then there will have to be new elections. Now, we have the latest opinion poll on who Germans would vote for at this moment. Now, according to it, Michaela, the opposition Conservative CDU CSU comes in at 32 per cent, followed by the far right RFD with 19 per cent. Schultz's party, the Social Democrats, are only in third place with 15 per cent. Now, we are talking about a, a very experienced, clearly, politician here in Olaf Scholz, but what chances does he have of leading the next government? Well, it doesn't look like he has um, a real chance of leading the next government, particularly also another valid poll that his popularity ratings are very low, particularly of the government that he led, but also his personal ratings are very low, um, historically low here in Germany. But his argument is, and he told us this again today, that um, he's been there before. Um, nobody believed that he would uh, pull forward to become the top contender in the last elections, and he then went on to actually forge and form a government. So he says he can still do this again. I very much doubt it, but then again, I've just been in the United States where nobody, again, believed really that Donald Trump could um, have such a resounding victory. So let's see what the voters say on election day. And the key point, of course, now is um, how soon will we see election day? Yeah, now five days is a long time in politics. Um, stick with me. I want to play uh, another clip from that interview with Schultz. Uh, in this one, he speaks about the re-election of Donald Trump in the US. I am never naive, but always unabashed. I have experienced so many changes of government during my time in office as Chancellor alone, as well as in the time before that. And my principle is always, if I may use these words, you dance with those who are in the room. That also applies to the US president-elect. In any case, I will do my best to ensure that relations between the US and Europe are good, as well as between the US and Germany. We have done that for many decades, regardless of the people involved, and this should continue to be the case for decades to come. So Olaf Schultz there. Uh, Michael, aside from the timing, does the change of government in the United States, where you've just been, have any bearing or significance uh, to, with the change of government that's underway here in Germany?
Well, timing-wise, uh, clearly they are not linked, but it will have a huge impact on where any new government can go next. I just want to throw a couple of recent quotes at you uh, from Donald Trump. He said, the Germans, they ate our lunch. He says, they owe us money. They think we are stupid. And Olaf Scholz, also again in this interview, pra praised Joe Biden as a very good uh, president. So clearly the German government, if it's led by Olaf Scholz, as it is right now, is seen as biased against Donald Trump, who will very likely, very soon, tell his partners what he expects in exchange for NATO protection. We've also learned from J.D. Vance, the new vice president, that anyone who interferes uh, with the interests um, of Elon Musk, uh, who leads X, uh, could actually see uh, less protection through NATO, through the United States. So there are some clear political threats on the table, and this will be a very, very difficult time for Germany to navigate. So Germany, uh, the German government uh, fell apart of not being able to forge a budget. If they had done, they would have had to review it in the light of the Trump presidency, number two, anyway. Wow, what an incredible time we have coming up. Um, DW Chief Political Editor, Michael Kufner, thank you.